everybody, Michelle here, and um, welcome to yet another stream of Royal Offerings, um, my digital painting, and um, hopefully, I just realized I did something that's not good, I just killed everything that I did last time, oh dear, uh, okay then. We are going to be doing some recap. Um, well, not recap, but uh, redo here. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, not thrilled with that, but uh, can't be helped. Uh, hit the wrong button earlier. So yeah, rail offerings. What that basically is is. Um, a picture of um, a fantasy picture for those of you who haven't um, been here before or and or who can't see what I'm doing but can hear me is um, there's a, there are two princesses one is a fairy princess and another is just a human princess well I shouldn't say just um, she's a human princess princess and they're all bringing they're both bringing stuff to the, something to the unicorn don't know what but um they're going to be bringing an offering um if you want to figure out or help me figure out what they're going to bring then comment in the comment section and maybe we can figure it out together. And if you comment, I ha do what's called a comment drawing. And what that basically means is that, well, I have a Minecraft world. And it's called Christmas Land. Um, that's in Christmas, at Christmas time, that's uh, the only Minecraft world I look, I work on. But when it comes to uh, the rest of the year, I, if somebody comments, I go and um, put their name in a hat and I make it and I have a drawing for that. Now, we finally have two people to add, so I will be doing it. Doing one like that probably as close to November 1st as possible and when that happens is that their name goes on a building on my uh, my Christmas land world and on any other place um, like Another example will be um, Lestrade, which is the one I'm working on right now. Um, I will be putting those names on that as well. So no matter where you go, you'll be immortalized. And uh, you'll be a part of the community. So, but you only get one place, so, you know, even though they're infin it's an infinite world, you still only get one place on that world. So that's, that's how that works. Um, so now I'm working on the trees I've done, um, or the bushes, I should say. I was a little bit further. But uh, when you don't save properly, that's what happens. Um, okay, so I've been doing a lot of this in um, in the purple. And we've come a long way because originally, if you recall, all we had was construction lines. And I've come a, a ways, like when we go into our next one of these, I plan on um, 
doing a, doing a different way with regards to that as well. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Oops, that should have gone the opposite way. If you hear some tapping, it's because um, we are getting our eaves looked after. So, for some reason, there we go. Okay. Now we'll do this circle. And I know I took that out of um, previous um, copies or pre previous layers, but I'm going to kind of put it back in because it is a circle of light. So I took it out of the bottom part. Now, so we've gone and done a bit of that so I'm going to switch to another layer and that is our oh rats and I went and I did that all on my dark red layer very nice not so I'll have to fix that when I'm at the blue blue layer when I get there okay so we're gonna go to the royal blue and that means we're working a bit on her. Um, I'm gonna put her that detail in in her lips and there on her nose. Okay, so we're working on the fairy princess's details. And I know it looks funny because, and that's because um, of a blending, the blending mode I have it in. But once it get, gets done, um, it'll look a lot, a lot different. And there's the to the collar part of her, her uh, dress. Okay. So that'll eventually, what happens is each layer, I try and make, um, ugh, itchy nose here, um, different ad additions that hopefully will make them better. Now we're into our brown, and that works even more. I know some people will say, too much work, too much work. Well, yes and no. It really helps to strengthen what um, what you're doing, you know, and just make it so much better. There we go. Okay, so we've got an extra under brown. That means we can do one in our black. Can I just find, for me, and I'm going to make a sample of that. I just find for me it um, it works a lot better. And when I do the next one, I'm going to try and plan things out a little bit better. Because when I do, um, and we'll title this one, this is going to be black. When I do, it's um, a lot better, and I'm glad you guys are getting to see the the process here because I find that um, when the process is watched, that helps people figure out what they want and don't want to do for their um, their own stuff. And this has a cross-pollination of helping with inking, too. So this black layer is the final piece to the artwork. Now, um, let's go to the proper layer here. And... This will get put in 
as it should. Let's check the time, because as you know, I I do um, these as close to 20 minute intervals as I can. Or not intervals, um, movies, videos as I can. So this is that we're working on the bush that um, I, uh, that is beside, and a little bit behind the one that the, um, um, fairy princess is standing on. I know I'm all over the place, but it's kind of the way I d draw. And, um, I want you to think of something, um, as well as if you'd like me to do a, um, a Christmas themed project. If that's the case, um, we'll stop this one and that will be a project that I will only work on on my art times at uh, Christmas time. And I'm really excited because, um, you know, not that I'm disrespecting the fact that um, um, we, the fact of, of the month that we're in, far from it. But I am looking forward to doing stuff for you guys for in the holiday time, whether it's Christmas land or whatever. I haven't been to Christmas land in a long time, so, um, you know, it's going to be fun to do. And so that's why I'm wondering if you guys would like a Christmas themed piece of artwork to, to be started on. We'll use Metabang paint and because that one does have something that this one doesn't seem to. And that is, um, um, folders. So I would do this same kind of process, but I'll, I'll have the, I'll work on the character maybe in one, uh, um, the foreground in another and so on and so forth. And then we'll have our color folders. So, okay, that was the, I was just working on the, um, pardon me, um, the bush, it's quite big, that the princess was standing on. And now there's one in front of her. We see that. Um, so that one's drawn now. Now we'll work on part of the path. And, um, that's getting better. And this is at a crossroads. This, uh, the, um, the unicorn is right at, uh, in, at the cross. So, okay, let's work on a little bit of the bird too. So how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Mine was really good. I really enjoyed that. Enjoyed uh, getting together with family and having some turkey dinner. Okay. And there's part of the owl's wing, and I just realized there's some brown in, in that, but that'll be fixed. So we'll go to the royal blue again, and we'll continue to work on the princess. So I don't even know her this fairy princess's name. Um... So that might be something that we can work out too. We'll work on her wing. This one right here. And while we're in this stage of things, 
we're going to give her wings some decoration. We'll give her some hearts. There. So that's what her wings are going to look like. She's probably going to be have pink and red wings, but she has leaves for her as part of her dress. That's one of the another reasons why I like to have things in layers like this is that I can make decisions like that as I go along. So um okay, so now we have to bring the prince's ear like that. There we go. And I think in this one, as I was thinking before, but I hadn't realized it, bring some of her hair into that way. Okay. It's interesting of how things um, come together. And I just wish I realized that I kind of went over a little bit, but that's okay. So back to our purple layer. And we're getting close to bringing in the unicorn. Now, the reason why I stamped that unicorn is because I wanted it to be to look nice. However, I've been doing a little bit of work on my on my drawings, so next time we may not stamp. But we're kind of making this stamp our own. So It's going to be similar yet different. There we go. Because I'm not going to put in as much detail, but uh, it's nice to have things right. Oops. There we go. Bring in a little bit of the Oh no, I remember what that part was. Okay. Look at this bushes. Uh, let's see. Okay. I know it looks a little bl bit blurry here, but uh, trust me, it won't. There we go. And this is kind of already done. And I'm not going to worry about that line. That's the beauty about layers again, is because you can choose whether you're going to keep a certain line or not. Okay, so now we're going to go here to the door. Where does it go? What do you think? Do you think we should um, uh, have a sequel to this? <laughs> I know, I go all over the place. I ask you guys too many questions to, for you to um, 
to remember to comment, but oh, comment to just one, comment to all of them, whatever you want. Okay, so that's another one. And after I do this one, I'll check our time here. So back to the blue, back to working on the princess. I keep just calling her a princess, but she's not really. She's a fairy princess. So let's work on her other. Actually, let's go to the shoulder because that's what that wing goes to. And then to the leaves. There we go. There. Okay. And now we'll do some more brown. It's going to be so nice when, um, uh, when we get moving on, uh, other parts here. But for now, we'll work on her face. And then what I'll do before we leave today is I'll show you how each of the layers um, look, I keep hitting the name, but I don't want to hit the name. I want to hit the layer. Okay, so let's see how much we have for time. Oh, we're over. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, let's bring that over. Okay, so this is our purple layer. Actually, I should leave it open. So that's what it looks like. Um... Purple with a red layer under under layer, Un, red lay under, our underlay of red. <laughs> okay, so we'll take away the the red, and that's what it looks like with the purple. Now that means a lot needs to be done, but you can see what we've got, some of what we've got done today. Then we take away the purple. And I'll go on to that layer without hitting the that part. And we see our princess. And obviously I was thinking in brown at that time, but that's what she looks like so far with regards to the blue. And we take away that. That's in our brown. And... Our black, I'm not going to worry about doing because that's just the one stroke. And we would have had more had I not, had I saved properly. So that just, well, there you go. There's our stroke. Um, that just goes to show what happens when things like that happen. And even people like me can have that happen. So before we go, I'm going to hit... That save button. Overwrite. There we go. <laughs> We're saving it. Done. So next, in two weeks time, um, we can uh, work some more on it and it should be really, starting to get really cool. I think it is already, but anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you have enjoyed this, this uh, painting called Royal Offerings. There it is, more in full view. So until next time, may your journeys be safe. Take care, and God bless. Bye for now.